The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head softball coach Michael Graves as the Eagles sweep a third straight sack doubleheader. Pick up two wins over the Mars Hill Lions, Michael Graves. Uh, eight nothing, a run rule win in, the, in game one. Uh, and had enough juice to score eight runs again in the nightcap and pick up an 8-4 win. What did you see from your team? You're free in both games, uh, rung up double-digit hits. Uh, it felt like a, two pretty calm, routine wins today. Well, you know, it's nice that we can find ways to score when we're not necessarily hitting the ball like we did in game one. Uh, I didn't think we hit the ball really, really you know, to our capabilities, but uh, we found ways to, uh, you know, just score runs and get on base. Uh, I think since February 25th, we've took twice as many walks and free passes as we have strikeouts, which is key to what we're trying to do, especially as banged up as we are. Uh, you mentioned that without a pretty key cog in Macaulay Bailey today. Uh, Hayden Dye hits a home run in her stead. Brooke Matazowski becomes the 14th player in school history with 20 bombs in her stead. Uh, what did you see from your sticks when they got going? Uh, Hayden and Brooke have been huge for us this year, and they're going to have to be even bigger for us if we uh, you know, want to try to win a conference championship. Brooklyn Lucero has come on. Uh, she's starting to produce uh, RBIs for us. Uh, Trinity has came on, and you know that kid, when she gets on base, she scores more times than not. So it's just it, it was a good team effort today and something we're going to do because, I mean, we're missing a lot of pieces from what we thought we were going to have. Yeah, you look in that dugout pregame, you can put that together a pretty good starting nine across the board with who you're missing. Um, defensively, on point, especially in game two. Marzo loaded the bases four times uh, in the nightcap and scored one run. What's that say about your pitching, about your defense? Uh, they got timely ground balls. Uh, Hayden Dye made a couple of really great plays over there at shortstop, and especially one there in the seventh when uh, we were kind of in a jam. Um, Riley Sharp made a great play on a ball she caught in you know, right field. Uh, Macy Hughes has stretched all day long, both games, to save us on a couple of throws. Uh, this one too. Uh, early this season, you struggled with runners on base. That was not true uh, today. Uh, hit better than 400 with runners on uh, in the nightcap, and of the eight runs that you scored in game two, six came with two outs. Break down the the attention to detail at the plate to get the job done uh, with two outs on the board and with runners. Well, I was fussing them a little bit because I thought we still left too many people on base in game two. It seemed like we, every time I looked up, we were leaving runners, two runners on base. But, uh, you know, they noticeably they have been getting a lot better when we've uh, uh, got runners on base, a lot better than the first three weeks of the season. But uh, it's just attention to swinging up balls and strikes and going with the pitch. I mean, we're spraying the ball all over the field. We're not chasing out of the zone as much. I mean, we had a couple of bats today uh, where we chased – Pretty bad, in my opinion. But for the most part, as a you know, the nine we've got in the lineup, you know, it's working. So, stay at home on Tuesday. You get UVA Wise uh, uh, for a 1 p.m. dole header. Uh, what do you have to do to keep the good times rolling? At the start of the day, you were one of three unbeaten's left uh, in the league. Uh, how do you keep that going against the Cavs? Uh, same thing, focus in the box. I mean, uh, we got to take what the pitcher gives us. Uh, we can't be too proud to take a walk and have 100% trust that the person batting behind me is going to get their job done. On the flip side, defense has still got to keep coming up with plays, and uh, pitching has got to be good. I mean, I thought we had we hit a couple of good spots there and didn't necessarily get a call, but uh, we was talking to him, you know, you got to bring it up a couple of inches. We don't want to get crazy and just say, well, he didn't give me the bottom of the name, now I'm going to throw it mid-thigh high over the plate. So, you know, just little adjustments, and as long as we're getting better every game, I think we'll be okay. All right, Michael Graves, thanks for the time. Congrats on the two wins. Thank you. It's Carson Newman, head softball coach Michael Graves. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.